Hey, so in this video, I'm talking about one of my favorite VPNs, NordVPN, and I'm gonna be walking you through all of its main features and all of the things that this VPN can do. Now, if you don't have it already, it's really simple. All you'd have to do is go to this website, pick a plan and sign up, download the VPN, and then log in using your credentials. And that's it, you'll be good to go. You'll be in the app over here. And to make things even easier, I'll also have a link in the description that will take you exactly where you need to go. And it'll also give you a little bit of a discount on top of that. Now, once you're in the app, this is actually not the homepage. The homepage is over here on the left. And that's because there are a few different things that come with NordVPN besides for just the VPN over here. You're also gonna have a Threat Protection Pro, which is basically like a mini antivirus. And then you also have file sharing so you can share files securely and not have to worry about any data leaks or about that information that you're sharing getting into the wrong hands. And I'm going to go through and discuss all of these things one by one. So if we go to the left sidebar, we go into the VPN and over here we have this really nice interactive map interface and all of these little nodes over here are different servers that we can connect to. So by just going over to one over here, let's say in New York and clicking on it, you'll see in the left side, we're going to be connecting up to a server in the United States. Now, once we're connected, we can go back to the homepage and see some information about that connection, including the IP address over here. Now, this is gonna be a standard VPN connection. So all your data will be safe. Nobody's gonna be able to access it or see what you're doing and you don't have to worry about any data leaks or data breaches. And you'll also be able to access content that's only available in a different area of the world. So let's say you were outside of the US and now you connected up to New York, you'd be able to go to your Netflix account and access the Netflix library of content. But Nord also has a few more options. So if we go over here and we go to more connection options and we go over here to specialty servers, we have a few more things. We can get a dedicated IP, which gives us our own IP address that that's unique to us. So a lot of times if you're getting stuck with those annoying recapture verification or you're using a website that keeps track of which IP address that you're logging into, a lot of times banks or credit card companies will do this because if they see the same account logging in from different IP addresses, that can be a red flag in their system. So having a dedicated IP can solve this issue. However, this is an add-on feature. You do have to pay a little bit more for this. Next, they have double VPN, which connects you up to two different servers before getting to your location. And this really makes it pretty much impossible for anybody to track you down and find out who you are and gives you a lot more anonymity. They also have obfuscated servers, which are special servers designed to hide the fact that you're even using a VPN. So if you're visiting a website that tries to detect VPN users, these servers can avoid that. Onion over VPN allows you to connect to the dark web using pretty much any browser. You don't need the Tor browser. You can use a browser like Chrome or Safari. And since you're using a VPN as well, it'll hide the fact that you're connecting to the Onion network from anybody who might be watching what you do online, such as your internet service provider. And lastly, over here, they have P2P, which are special servers that are optimized for torrenting. And that's going to make sure that none of your personal information is shared over the P2P network, but at the same time, it will maintain good download speeds for when you're torrenting. Next up, if we move to the Threat Protection Pro, we have web protection, which can block a lot of malware and ads. We have file protection, which checks all your downloads and makes sure that you're not downloading anything that can be a threat to you. And also vulnerability detection, which checks the health of your apps and makes sure that none of them have any vulnerabilities. After that, you have file transfer, which like I said, allows you to share files securely and also MeshNet, which can really come in handy if you're going to be connecting to a remote desktop. So let's say you're working remotely and you want to connect up to your work computer with the MeshNet feature. You can make sure that that connection is secure and you don't have to worry about any of your work information being leaked out over the Internet. Lastly, there's the dark web monitor, which tracks if any of your personal data has been leaked out over the dark web and lets you know about it. So those are the added features that NordVPN comes with. Of course, the VPN is the main thing here. That's what you'll probably be using the most. However, it's always good to know what add-ons you get with it. Now let's go over to the settings. There are a few things I wanted to show you here. If you go to connection, then you can go to protocol and there's the Nordlinks protocol. So this is the one that I generally recommend that you have selected. Of course, if you're not sure yourself, you can always have auto selected and that will pick what it feels is the best one for you. But I personally like to have Nordlinks selected. Something else that's nice about NordVPN is if you go to the kill switch, their kill switch works very differently than most other VPNs. You see in a regular VPN, the kill switch will just disconnect your internet if the VPN ever stops working. So this is the kind of thing you would use if you're connected to a network that's not necessarily the most secure, such as a public Wi-Fi network or a hotel Wi-Fi, something like that. So you want to make sure that whenever you're on the internet, you're also connected to the VPN. And by having the kill switch enabled, it'll make sure that if the VPN ever does stop working for some reason, then your internet also stops working. The thing with NordVPN's kill switch is that it gives you a lot more control than any other VPN that I've seen, because it has this app kill switch feature, which allows you to choose exactly which apps you want the kill switch applied to. So that way, if the VPN ever does stop working, it's not like your whole internet connection will drop out like with most other VPNs. Instead, you can choose exactly which apps 
you want your internet to stop working with when the VPN is not working, but you can have other things still accessing the internet. Now, I know this is a lot, and I know that there's a lot going on in NordVPN. It is quite feature heavy and complicated. There is a little bit of a learning curve here. So if you're thinking that something like NordVPN is not necessarily for you, then there is another VPN that I do highly recommend, and it is a lot simpler, and that's ExpressVPN. Express is also really good. It's personally my favorite go-to VPN, and compared to NordVPN, it's super simple. All you do is pick a location over here, click the connect button, and that's it. You're good to go. There's nothing more you really have to think about. A lot of the things that NordVPN has as a feature, ExpressVPN does it behind the scenes. Like these obfuscated servers with ExpressVPN, there is no feature like that because all of ExpressVPN servers are automatically obfuscated, meaning that ExpressVPN will automatically hide the fact that you're even using a VPN. It's not a feature that you have to set up. And if you happen to be on a budget and you don't necessarily have the cash for either of these two, then I would definitely recommend Surfshark because it's going to be the cheapest out of these over here. But at the same time, you're still going to get a really high level VPN with a lot of features that you don't generally find in a VPN at this price. So that's all for this video, guys. If you want to find out more about Express or Surfshark, I'll be sure to leave full reviews in the description. And you'll also find discount links on all three of these that will save you some extra money if you want to try them out. Have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one.